you know, I remember going back to the Gospels, take no thought for what you shall wear, what you shall eat, you know, uh, let the morrow take care of the morrow. Beautiful. The English translation of the Aramaic, let the morrow take care of the morrow. What is he talking about? He's talking about let it be given to you moment by moment and don't even try to figure out what tomorrow holds. Don't plan. He said in Lesson 135, planning is a defense against the truth. When you make future plans, you're trying to defend against the truth. That's not trust. Trust is let it be given. So it's true, it's, it's like you know, it would be like, some people would say, well that's like, like being a mammal and being put under water and having, learning how to breathe water instead of air. That's ridiculous. Let it be given. You know, what is that kind of, that's not even sensible. And, and actually, it, there, is, there is a sense of that. I don't know if any of you ever saw that movie, The Abyss, you know, where they go way down into that trough and actually they go so far down and the pressure, the pressure per square inch is so heavy that, that they can't breathe air. The mammals, the people, the humans can't breathe air down in the, the abyss. It's so deep, deep trenches in, in the ocean that the pressure down there, the water pressure, literally would crush the lungs. The lungs would literally collapse because of the, that amount of pressure. So basically they have to learn how to breathe liquid oxygen. Liquid. They have to breathe liquid in their lungs. Mammals. So at first they practice with the, the little mice and they, they kind of submerse the mice you know, into this pink liquid oxygen and the mice go down there and they're mammals. And they, they have a traumatic reaction, you know, a mammal kind of reaction, like, like, I'm drowning, I'm drowning, get me out of there. And then they start to, it's a little harder, but they pump it in there, they start to, they go, still alive, <laughs> under this pink liquid and, okay, it's working. So they try it out first with the mice, and then at one point, if you follow that movie, they have to go down and that's where they have to, the, the man who's the main character, I forget what his name is, he's going to have to go down and he has to fill up his mask with the liquid oxygen and he becomes very, very disoriented and he kicks and squirms just like the mice did. He's just kicking around there and kicking around and then he stabilizes, he breathes the liquid oxygen. In one sense, that's kind of what's happening with when you practice with the Course in Miracles. In fact, Jesus even goes into great detail talking about these periods of disorientation. So he wouldn't put it in the book if it wasn't important to talk about it. He's saying you're so accustomed to living by the ego and living by the ego's laws of scarcity and lack, defenses, um, reciprocity, on and on and on and on, that when you go through this transformation, when your mind goes from upside down to right side up, you're going to be very, very disoriented. And he, he makes it, he uses a lot of words to describe it because he's saying you're going to be going just like those mice, just like that man in the abyss, you're going to have all these old past reactions and kind of almost like reflexes to, to this fear of the light and you're actually going to go through an, a disorientation period and you're going to come out sailing and soaring in the most glorious state of mind that you could ever want to experience. And that is, is so important. I think for me, I'm so grateful to have such a good clear roadmap as A Course in Miracles so that I was well prepared when I started to kick and scream and, and go through these periods of rage and disorientation and I'm losing my mind, who's going to 
who will understand me, who will love me, how can I function in this world, blah, 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 you know, all the stuff that we go through. I was prepared because it was given to me in the Course saying, you're going to go through this, but just hang in there with me. Don't, don't give up on the, the curriculum. Don't give up on the, the pathway when you go through this. And so, and, and that's exactly what's happened. It just, you turn the corner, you, just like the, the mice and the man in that, that movie, you start to breathe the, the liquid oxygen and uh, at first it's a little, it's strange, it's weird. Uh, miracles seem weird to the sleeping mind. You know, they're, they're, they're really strange. And, and the ego will try to dismiss them and, you know, push it out of awareness and so forth. But the more you hang with it, you hang with it, you do start to get more of a consistent experience of this new way of thinking, this new way of being. And the ego will still come at you pretty strong sometimes, you know, to try to break the turn, you know, to have you sabotage and, and abort, abort the mission. But that's where, you know, Jesus says, this is the time for faith. This is, you've come this far. He even has nine chapters on special relationships and he says, he says, you have come so close to heaven. You've come so very close. He starts off those sections by saying, now you just have one more obstacle. And it's the special love relationship. It's, it's to try to objectify and localize this love. Shrink it down instead of the vastness that it is. And this is going to be the one, this is going to be the thing that you're going to break through. This is going to be your breakthrough moment. You've come this far many times before, but you haven't popped through the final distraction. So it's great, you know, it's, it's like, you know, if Jesus was a surgeon, oh, he's the master surgeon, he's, he's outlined the, what exactly needs to be sliced away. And he gives the pep talks, you know, and he's there to deliver, scalpel. <laughs> you know, whatever you need, the tools are given, the means are given, everything you need, the whole package is given, you know, to go for this great awakening. So, this is really where we're at. This is why we've come this far, is to, to be reflections, you know, for one another of this journey and, and what steps you're taking. It's, it really seems like there's still steps to take in form, but each miracle you have, every miraculous expression that comes through you is just you coming deeper and deeper inward in your mind to, it's a dream, it's a dream. Every miracle just reinforces that, it's just a dream. You know, life is but a dream, merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Merrily, merrily, merrily. Life is but a dream. The miracles keep reinforcing that ancient nursery rhyme <laughs> over and over, saying, yeah, it's true. It's just a dream. You're the dreamer of it. You're not a figure. You're not at the mercy of all these things that seem so big and blown out of proportion in the projected world. You're the dreamer. You're the dreamer. And it just gets more and more and more in there.